A few weeks ago, I bought this device at a flea market. The seller had no idea what it was, and therefore he was only asking two euro. After looking at it closely and after trying to lift it, I knew this has to be an isolation transformer. So here it is. This is the finished product. Of course, I had to do some improvements on this. I replaced some of the old wiring. This device was built at some point in the 1950s or 1960s. I replaced the permanently attached power cord with an IEC socket. I put on a handle, a carrying handle, which is really necessary because this thing is very heavy. I also changed the one thing that I really didn't like about this device, the configuration of the output socket. It had the safety ground connection hooked up. And depending on the configuration of the device under test, this might bypass the isolation transformer, which would be very dangerous. So I unhooked the safety ground and moved it to the separate binding post. So it is available if you need it. I also replaced the power switch with a switch that lights up. So if you turn it on, you have an indicator light on the inside that tells you that there is power present on the primary side of the transformer. The original indicator light up here was hooked up to the secondary, so this now indicates when there is power present on the secondary, on the output. If the fuse blows up, it's a 3 amp fuse. This light is going to turn off. This light, however, is going to stay on, so you know instantly that the fuse has blown. I also added this ampere meter. This was actually the most expensive part of this whole project. It cost me a whopping 22 euro. I now have this massive 300 watt light bulb hooked up to the isolation transformer. So let's turn it on. And as you can see, everything works just as desired. And yes, I can touch the output terminals. However, Never touch both terminals at the same time. That would be very dangerous. More info on this project is available on my blog. A link is available in the video description. Thank you for watching.